Hey everybody, it's James with Urban Jungle MSP, and I'm doing a little bit of a different video today. I'm actually heading out to a couple of big box stores. My friend Ashley, or Plant Me Ashley on YouTube, tagged me in a video. There's this really fun houseplant bingo that I'm going to go to a few big box stores. Um, her friend Becky created the challenge, and you can find her channel tagged below. So I'm going to go to a couple of big box stores and see if I can complete this bingo challenge. But before I do that, I am actually headed out. One of my friends from the Twin Cities, Adam, was on a road trip down to St. Louis this weekend. He stopped at one of my favorite nurseries in Madison, Wisconsin called the Bruce Company and ended up finding some Hoya Australis Lisa. So right now I'm on my way to go pick two of those plants up from him. And then I am going to be hitting up those big box stores. So let's go. Okay, I went to go pick up my Hoya Australis Lisa for my friend Adam, and we got talking about plants for over an hour. So now I am finally on my way to the big box stores. All right, so I made it to Lowe's. I have my bingo scorecard. Uh, let's do it! some major renovations or something in here in the plant department so I'm getting out of here. Okay so I think they're prepping for some like major spring stuff because there were so many people but I marked a couple things off of my checklist. So I can mark off overwatered, um, I can mark off surprise variegation, uh, hardy plant. I'm sure that some said home decor but I didn't have enough time to look because it was super loud and there were so many people around. But I'm in West St. Paul and there's a Home Depot and a Walmart. <laughs> that took me so long to think of that name. So I'm going to check them out and see if I can mark a couple off of here. Bye, Lowe's. Bye. I saw some people recently posting about the Costa Farms new selection at Walmart. So I'm going to go see if they have some of those new items. I feel like I'm gonna hit a bingo tonight. Like, there's no reason by going to these big, big box stores that I can't hit a bingo on the sheet. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Stop number two coming up. Okay, this Walmart is a poppin'. There are so many people here. I have the hardest time finding a parking spot, but this is the only occasion I'd usually shop at a Walmart. Walmart was a bust. Uh, I found a bunch of floral plants that you would use for arrangements, um, a few dead succulents, and I found a mealybug or two or a couple. So that's exciting. I think I might have eaten my words a little bit at Walmart because I had a hard time finding things because they really didn't carry plants. They said that they don't start bringing lawn and garden back until April. Also, it's like 10 degrees in Minnesota today, but we are here at the Home Depot with me and it'll be called the Homo Depot.
since we're on musical break and I don't want copyright. Bingo. Okay, I am living for this lighting outside of the Dollar Tree. I thought it was going to be absolutely horrible, but I stopped into the Dollar Tree because people had been posting that they got some of their, you know, spring potting collection stuff. So let me show you what I found at the Dollar Tree on my way back home. I got 14 of these three and a half inch terracotta pots for $7.58. Sometimes the little mini two inch terracotta pots are too small for the things that you're starting, yet the four inch containers can sometimes be a little too big. So this is a perfect medium between them and they have a drainage hole. And I have a bunch of Hoyas that I'm working on propagating right now. And I think this would be the perfect container. Plus I love terracotta as it is, if you've seen my Instagram. So perfect. So here's the skinny on the bingo situation. I got myself a bingo and I will tell you what I found for it. So um, I've killed this before, aloe vera, because I literally overwatered it and it rotted to death. I also have surprise variegation, which was the variegated bamboo plant. I have never seen variegated bamboo, but I know it's in the Dracaena family, so I guess it's not super surprising. Um, Two dollars or less, some sale plants at Lowe's, which were on clearance for a dollar. Uh, I also have a bunch of these, and I filmed pothos because who doesn't have a bunch of pothos in their house? They're so easy. I have a ton of them in my kitchen, and they, you know, just keep growing. They don't need a whole lot. And then the unicorn plant, I did the crested euphorbia that I found at the Home Depot because a ton of people are looking for those, and they're hard to find. But that grower, whoever they source from, has a lot of them I've seen at Home Depots at least, and people go crazy for them. Some of my more memorable finds were the mealybugs that I found at Walmart on the Echeveria, and... Walmart had barely anything. Like I said, they were waiting till April to put out lawn and garden. Um, overwatered was that skindapsis that I found. Um, it had yellowing leaves and it was just sopping wet. I At Lowe's, there were so many people around and they were resetting for the spring. So it was really hard to film in there. Otherwise, crispy leaves was that bromeliad, spider mites. Um, I filmed some ivy in Lowe's and... Without a doubt in my mind, there will be spider mites on it, so I just marked that down. There were some cool things out at the big box stores. There are, there were a lot of exotic angels plants at Lowe's. Unfortunately, no Hoya, so I didn't buy anything there. The only thing I purchased was at the Dollar Tree with those three and a half inch terracotta pots, which are a great deal. The woman at the register was like, I see you with those pots as I was in line. I'm like, yeah. She's like, I need to get my peppers started. I start them usually, and then I get them outside. I'm like, good for you, girl. So anyway, I told her I'd do a bunch of houseplants, but that's a bingo. So Ashley, thank you for tagging me. Becky, thank you for coming up with this cool idea. Um, yeah, I'll see y'all very soon. Okay, so before I end it, I wanted to show you. This is one of the two Hoya Strauss Lisa that I got from my friend Adam, who picked them up on his road trip. So sweet. He's such a nice guy. Check him out. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little, like, vlog-style video. I don't usually, like, bring my phone out in public for filming because it feels a little weird. There were so many people out tonight, so I don't know what the deal was. But anyway, that's the tea, sis. I hope y'all have awesome days and nights, whatever time of the day you are watching, and I will see you very soon.